All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's me, it's Norgar TV, and welcome back for another edition of Norgar TV Mystery Race. This time we're going in the B cars at Chicagoland Speedway. 65 laps here tonight, late night Tuesday. And we're going to see the drivers pull off, led down by the 4GT Mustang, your pole sitter, William McCauley. McCauley taking the pole with a qualifying position of 30.996, busting below the 30 mark here at Chicagoland. Quite impressive there for the number one car. On the outside in the Miller, genuine draft is going to be Terry... Uh, Alindy, Alindy on the outside, no stranger to T uh, Norgar TV Mystery Race. Ariadi also a familiar here, and he will be starting on the inside in the car number 16 in third position. In fourth position, Jeff Ramsdell, Ramsdell driving the number 29 this week. Uh, on the out or the inside of there is the number 32, the number 32 of Ray uh, Zurkut, and we have Nick. Uh, Ritzy, I think I said that right, Ritzy on the outside and that'll round out your top six, top eight. These guys are going to be pulling off. Pace car is down. Time to go. Green flag racing here. You know what time green it flag. is. It's bumper humping time on Nordgar TV. Green, green, green. Here we go at Chicagoland. Coming down the back stretch, the two making the look move. Yeah, that's a bad, yeah, yeah, he's down on the inside. And uh, he's making a look of, to uh, make a move early. And the two and the one, they get together. The two's getting out of shape. He's loose, loose, loose. They are four wide coming across the frost front stretch, and they're going to wreck. Big wreck Fox here in Chicago out, land on number one. Oh, yeah, I'm taking it back. I have no words. I can't get them okay. out. They're not making sense. I don't know what's going on. Caution flag number one here tonight flies at Chicagoland on lap number one. Let's take a look at it and see what happened here. We had a lot of trouble up front as the uh, front two fighting for position right off the bat, and that is going to cause issues for the rest of the field. It's cool. There we see the number two on the outside of McCauley. Uh, that's Randy Hedrick. Hedrick on the outside. Let's take a look and see here. This is the start of the race. Right there, green flag lap number one as they go down into turn number one. They're uh, fighting for position there in third between the 16 and the 6, the 29 looking at them. And here we go, the number two on the inside of the one going down into turn number three. Lap number one, they get together, and he is going to lose it. And he is going to slide. Everybody's going to go down to the inside, but we got one guy into the wall. And that's just going to cause mayhem for the back half of the field. These drivers receiving two free resets, two, one, two. That's it. Yeah. Uh, they come down to pit road. They get a brand new car, and that'll be it. Uh, after two pit stops, once you hit pit road or get towed, uh, That'll be it. No more freebies. But we do give you a couple mulligans here. That was kind of a rough start here tonight. Let's go to the rear chase view of the number six, who I believe the six here gets into the wall. 29 gets into him, and here we go. This is yep. He gets back into the it. high. Oh, oh, oh. Driver's doing good uh, Good jobs getting, getting by the six. But uh, a lot of drivers not so lucky. So let's head back up live as we see the number six of Alindy coming down uh, to receive his free car. The pace car out. And right now your current leader is the number 16 of Ari Adi Adi looking for uh, a long green flag run here coming up. But uh, we'll see. 
I can see the chat. I do not look at it all the time, but yeah, I can see it, and I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you for tuning in here tonight. I uh, hope we're having a good time out there in Norgar TV land. But uh, welcome, welcome. If uh, you are new here, please hit that follow button in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. You don't want to miss out on any Norgar TV broadcast in the future. We're here almost every night, almost. Uh, to keep up with the current times, uh, head over to the Norgar TV Facebook. All the information you need and the links are lo located below. And uh, we also got a YouTube thing going on. But uh, we got a lot of stuff going on this week uh, here coming up uh, just before the uh, Christmas holiday season. And uh, you don't want to miss out on any action if you are home around. I get a lot of <laughs> I get a lot of uh, lot of requests, and uh, I have not let anybody. I'm in the works working with somebody right now, um, but that's down the road a little ways. But uh, yeah, I, I'm open to the idea, but uh, I've been I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet, and when I do it, it's gonna be it's gonna be for a special occasion. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird subject with me, so I apologize. But anyway, uh, we can talk about that later. But right now we got a race going on. Uh, we're still under single file conditions. Uh, you, uh, you viewers out there, you know what time it is now. It's time to start submitting your viewer questions to the drivers out there on the track, and we will get the uh, questions down to the drivers. So what we're going to do right now, and we're going to kick it off right now with a uh, driver question. Norgar Roulette and uh, Norgar Roulette brought to you by me and uh, there we go Brian Terry in the number 92 we're gonna try to get a word in with him right now and see what's going on with his car 92 Brian Terry this is Norgar in the booth you got a copy I copy all right you were uh, the winner of the Norgar Roulette question and the Norgar roulette question, as you know, they are kind of weird and off the wall. But uh, uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer M&Ms or Twix? M&Ms. All right. Thank you very much. How's your car running? And uh, can you get to the front? Uh, car feeling fine just uh, so far can't really complain uh, on how it feels and so long as I just keep it clean I'm pretty sure I could get it up to the front all right buddy well we got a lot of viewers up here at Norgar TV watching all you guys run around here so uh, good luck to you thanks bud all right so that was the first question you guys can can, can uh, keep you guys can keep submitting your questions, and we'll get to them again uh, when we get another break in the uh, another break in the racing action. But we're uh, getting ready to go back live right now. We have uh, right now on the track 21 uh, 21 drivers on the track, and a bunch of a uh, bunch of cars fighting for the uh, lucky dog. We run the lucky dog here at North. Ready, green flag, green flag for these guys to try to race. But it's two races in one, and we see a lot of guys not get going off the start. Bumper hump in time again on Norgar TV as they come down into turn number one. Twenty-nine down on the inside of the twenty-seventh and double O moving up to the third line. Coming through three and four. A lot of cars out here tonight at Norgar TV. And the 92. Oh, we just got the 92. He gets into the back of the guy flying through the air. You can look here. It's for me right there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right there for the number 26 of Leonard Williams. Williams in trouble. Let's take a look and see what happens here. I just want to give you enough room. Z-Line Design Furniture there driving the Camry on the inside of the 92. 
Sorry about that uh, door slams either. And they get together. Before we even get the green flag. And what a ride for the 26 as he gets thrown upside down at unbelievable velocity. There's vomit in the helmet, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, vomit in the helmet of the number 26 car. Hey, I passed a whole bunch of cars after the green, but before the flag. That'll ring out caution flag number two of the evening here at Chicagoland. We got a long way to go, ladies and gentlemen. These guys uh, having a rough start at it, getting going, but uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, Chicagoland, one and a half mile oval. It drives like a two mile. Uh, it's very wide. There's four lanes here, uh, each one separated by a groove. And we're gonna see all the uh, cars come down and nobody's coming down uh, as you can see there's four grooves there there's four creases on the track those are the four grooves and uh, late on into the runs it is eight you are able to run every single one of those grooves and people also will run down below the white line and we've seen this uh, come back to burn and bite drivers so many different times and uh, we'll probably most definitely see that again somebody's going to go down below the white line and they're going to come back up and not be going to be able to hang on to it but right now the 69 car gets in front of the 16 but the three is listed your leader right now out front that is brandon and here we go <laughs> i've been told his name for a week and i still can't get it right chabrico Brandon Chabrico, but uh, nicknamed Chubbs around here. Just everybody knows him as Chubbs. He don't like Chubbs, but that's Chabrico there in the three. He is out front right now, and they are still single file line. Let's uh, let's uh, try to get a word in with Brandon. No uh, call. Brandon in the number three car. This is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? Hey man, uh, you're up front. What's up with that? I don't know, man. It's been a crazy race. That was fourth beat, and gained about ten spots on the restart. No one went, so I kind of went around everybody, and everybody in front of us wrecked, and somehow I avoided it. Now I'm third. Uh, we have a question in chat from Crenshaw, and he asked. How did you get the Intimidator's number, and the, does that describe you? Oh, I'm not sure I got the number, actually, but, um, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty aggressive. Would you say you were a fan of, uh, Senior? Oh, yeah. All right, well, uh, we're... On lap number 11, uh, what do you got on the long run for the rest of the field? I haven't really done Chicago Land too much. I'm not uh, exactly sure what I have for long run. So, in other words, you're probably saying you're fucked. <laughs> That'd be correct. I'm probably fucked. Hey, you guys on the way to the two by? All right, man. Well, uh, we've been watching you for a while, and uh, all the viewers here, and myself included, we enjoy watching you and everybody else. So thank you for uh, coming out tonight, and uh, good luck to you on the rest of the race, Chubbs. What's up, Chubberka? What's going on, All right, that was Chubbs. Chubbs going to lead him around next time. Bye. That is Brandon Chabrico. Chabrico going to lead him around, but uh, we're slow going here. Early on in the running at tonight's Norgar TV Mystery Race. Thank you all in. Let me take this opportunity uh, right now to let you guys in. Friday night, the end of the world, 2012. Armageddon is upon us so the best thing you need to do is 
is to duck and cover in your house on your computer and watch Nordgar TV. We will be going all star racing at Chicago, or yeah, Chicago, that's where we are. Uh, Charlotte, we'll be at Charlotte in the, uh, the truck series for our all star league event. Checkers or wreckers, we're going to be running several different segments uh, between the league members here at Norgar TV. So you might want to come back out and watch that $15 prize going to the winner for that one. And we're also going to be giving away video games to the viewers. So head over to Facebook. Make sure you uh, check it out. And here we go. It's time to go green. That would be green awesome, flag. David. If it ended while I was broadcasting and the, I was the last voice you heard, that would be awesome. <laughs> Got to go someday. And here we go. We're going now. Green flag racing in Chicagoland again. Three wide coming through. Two. The double O down on the inside of the number one. Yes, we will be giving away two copies of Left 4 Dead 2 and a copy of Torchlight. We've had these sitting in our bin for a while. We got to get them out of there. So they're, they're out of here come uh, Friday night, this Friday. And all the action will start at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to be sitting in your house with a cup of cocoa and a bottle of tequila. You're going to need it. The end of the world is coming. And we're going to watch Norgar racing. And we got racing right now on Norgar TV. They're two by two. Everybody racing. Look at all this. This is the battle for fifth on back. Fourth on back. Second on back. Everybody's racing two on two. This is some crazy stuff as the number three continues to lead them around. There is the number 69 behind the National Guard Chevy Impala. The 16 trying to get back up to the front after being up there, leading a couple early laps here. But this is the battle for fourth position between the 32 and the 56. The 56 down on inside of the Ragu machine. But they're almost three wide behind these guys, way down on the apron. The 56 goes and back up, slides in front of Ragu, says no meatball for you this lap, and continues to lead uh, the Ragu truck there in fourth. Fifth and fifth. But right now up front further, the 29 on the inside of the 69. 69 falling back, the 16 working his way up through there on lap number 16 of the 65 lap race here live on Nordgar TV as everybody heading down to the apron. I wish I had a machine gun to shoot every single one of you. No response for you. I hate people that go down there, but hey, it is totally legal. All the gloves are off. They can do what they want. There is no rule saying they can go down there, but I, uh, they're doing a good job staying down there, trying to get every inch out of their lap they can as we see the six down on the inside of the double O. This is your battle for ninth position. Looking ahead at the 27. Three wide back here at 10th on back. Let's head down to, oh, here we go. Let's head down, oh, and the 92 into the wall. Having trouble, having trouble. The 10, the 10 car down on the inside. All right, guys, you want to see what it's like racing here at Chicagoland? As I, because I hire a cameraman on crack, that's why they're flipping through here. So, but let's uh, let's go on board with one of these drivers. This driver, Randy Hedrick, in the number two car, in currently in 22nd position, back here in traffic. Let's go on board with him. Here we go, one lap around here.
Five right behind the snap-on vehicle. Goes to the outside. This is a battle for position. Up front, I believe the three is still in the lead. We got so much racing going on here. Hard to keep up with it all. Let's head back up to the leaders as these guys are going to try to sort it out. Your leader there of uh, Chubbs. Chubbs still in the lead, but the next two are reeling them in. That is the number 29 of Hendrick Motorsport Chevy Impala. That is the number 29 of Jeff Ramsdell. Ramsdell being followed by the number 16 car of Ariadne. Adi in third position, but here's where the mess starts, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth on back, we got a cluster, you know what, of cars trying to come around here at Chicagoland Speedway on lap number 22 as we see the 56 of Joel Fur Fulcord. Joel Fourcourt there in the 56, trying to hold off the Ragu machine and the National Guard Chevrolet. Ray Zerkert on the outside and the 69 of Chris Geraldman. A lot of racing here. Two by two. Here we are looking at 10th position. 10th position held by Brad Spidel. Uh, Spidel, uh, he won something the other night on some race that we were hosting. And I think that was actually in uh, association with Red Bull, uh, Noble Motorsports. Uh, they were hosting that. And Spidel won a, uh, I forget what he won. He won something. Uh, some of these guys give stuff away sometimes for some of these races. Uh, you never know what's going to happen on the mystery race. You absolutely never know. But uh, the mystery race is capable of anything. But right now, what it's capable of is 24 laps still under green here in the books as the 32 down on the inside of the 69. Three wide groove racing here at Chicago Land, looking at position fifth on back. Well, we got tight, tight racing coming down the back stretch. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. These guys really fighting for every inch on the track. The 32 backs out of it, no part of it. Ragu says, I'll be served on the side. But he actually serves himself back up into the sucker hole as he's still in the middle. Now three wide again. These guys going freaking crazy here at Nordgar TV. Three wide, three wide, three wide. Looking at positions number five on back. A lot of moving and shaking going on. These guys getting jiggy with it. Coming down the back stretch at uh, Chicagoland. I forget where we are all the time. We race so many races at Norgar TV, I don't know where I am. Look at all this movement going on. Let's go on board with the echo machine of David Oliveri. Oliveri driving the double O. We got some pushing going on up in front of Oliveri. Windshield starting to get a little dirty here in Chicagoland. Some of these drivers not used to that is kind of a brand new feature here in the last few weeks where uh, you got to, oh, and we got, we got to, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 we got a car in the wall, oh, Tell double all into the top, oh, shit, very difficult official this week, so make sure we're minding People our views, caution flag number three. We had a lead change, I believe, too, up front. As all that bullshit was happening, let's take a look at it from multiple angles and see this all happening in front of the double O. The double O of Oliveri. That's who we were following. And it happened right up around here somewhere. Let's see. Right there. The six. The six gets tangled up with the uh, number one car. Let's take a look at it in slow-mo from the rear chase view. Mm. 
They get hung up together, and that'll turn the six around and cause problems from everybody behind. And while all that goat was going on, ladies and gentlemen, we had a lead change just uh, right before this, I believe. Uh, we'll take a look at it here in a second. But all the racing going on from fifth place on back. As you see, the, and there we're going to have uh, a couple guys checking up. And when they check up, bad news, bad news. Two to go, guys. I mean, it's good they checked up, but, you know, sometimes checking up is the wrong thing to do. You always think checking up would be the right thing to do, but not it. Yeah. But uh, some of these guys unable to get out of the way. While that was uh, while that was going on, let's go back up front when all this racing was going on here. If we head back up to the leaders, there is the leader of Jeff Ramsdell going by. Actually, it might have been a couple laps before. They get by the three. I'm sorry that I missed that, guys, but it shit happens here. It looks like he takes the lead right here, right around lap 23. Gets in front of the three there. So I apologize for the, missing that. Uh, I don't have anybody in my ear tonight helping me out. So uh, he's down on the uh, apron. Yeah, I'm going to blame people on crack, people drinking. And uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And the 29 motors by him on the outside for the lead. So caution flag number three tonight. The three falls back, and the 16 will actually get by the three as well. Caution flag number three has flown. So we'll take your viewer questions now. I'll glance over in the chat. Let's see what you got for these drivers out here. And uh, let's see what I see in chat here. Let's see. Anybody asking any questions? Want to talk to a driver? I think I might have missed one earlier. You want to talk to Jeff? Okay. And ask him his favorite. My, okay. We'll talk to Jeff. Uh, Jeff, can I have a number, please? Oh, there we go, the 29. We got you. We got you here at Norder on TV. We're all over. Hey, it's right now, who's... So, uh, if, if there is a caution, God willing, there isn't. Uh, please help me again, thanks. Yeah, he's on our team speak, so... For some reason, he can't get his button to work. 29 car, this is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? Jeff in the 29 car, you got a copy? Copy. Hey man, great run. Uh, that was a great run. Uh, you're up to second place. How's your car feel and uh, what you got for the 15? Well, the car feels amazing, I'll tell you that. I love this place. I feel I can um, probably get the 15. He's on older tires. I don't know how that's going to play out for. I guess he probably knows more than I do. Well, we got uh, two quick questions, and answer them quick as you double up uh, from chat. David Forsh in chat wants to know who your favorite My Little Pony character is. <laughs> uh, only you would ask that, Forge. Um, let's go with Princess Luna. That's sad you even know the name of one. So the second question is, uh, who your favorite team owner is? I know the name of all of them, actually. Most of them, anyway. I said who's your favorite. Your favorite team owner. And if it's anybody other than Norgar... Uh, you're going to the end of the line. Well, then I guess I might have. I'm just kidding. Who's your favorite team owner? <laughs> well, I might have to pick Norgar then. Nah. Um, David Forge. Right on. Good luck. Thank you. 
to try to play nice. I think from 19 is up here, so I'm going to do it. All right, it's time to go green flag racing again here live on Norgar TV. The 15 bringing them down. Green, 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 green. It is time to go bumper humping again. We've seen a little bit of automotive intercourse. We have not got quite to the automotive orgy essence of uh, Norgar TV, and we hope we don't. We want to stay green for the rest of the race as we see the 15 pull up to the middle lane. The three down on the inside coming out of turn number two down the back stretch. The uh, guy in the pace car masturbating as all this is going on up front. Four wide, four wide, four wide as they come down into turn number three. The number three got the edge on the inside. The 25 all oh, down on the apron as the 29 going to take the higher lane. I don't, that's, uh, just watch this shit. This is good stuff. The three up front. Brandon, or not Brandon, the three. Uh, uh, the two off the pace. Chubbs down on the inside below the 29. 15 gets pushed to the outside. He'll fall back to fifth position after the restart here. And the three and the 29 duking it out up front. The 29 got the edge. He will take that lap here as we are in the blimp view. These guys up in the blimp view, they are doing whippets tonight. So please bear with them. As they come down the back stretch, the 29 overtakes the three for the lead. The battle for third place still continues. The 25 on the outside of the 56. Everybody using the apron. I wish they put like, I don't know. Caution, Oh, caution. I got trouble. I was gonna say like, Spike strips or something down there, so nobody could yeah, run down there. Here, that. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're working on it. We're all trying to get Cody caution, figured out. Flag number four. Up. Okay. Let's fall back just a little bit. Focus in on crashes. Thank you, I Racing. As we go, here is the number ninety. As I, as I, the six, the six, the Ford Eco Boost Mustang, uh, diving down to the inside of Good Time Ice, baby. And the wreck is going to happen. Who knows? I'm glad I got beer. Uh, what did you have black flags for? There it is, right there, the 15. Did you spin through the pits in that rank? 15 like gets in we, trouble here, Dennis Sather. Sather on the outside of the number 10. Let's see what happens here. Check up, check up, check up. They hit the stripe there here, lap starting, lap number 36, and Sather up top, the number 10 of uh, David Washington. Washington down below, and Sather gets into the wall, and he's going to shoot off the wall, come down into Team Elite. Team Elite going to be dragging their ass back to the bus stop tomorrow morning because their ride is shot after that little incident right there. And he comes back up and hits the number 12 of David Fish. Fish out of water into the back of the wall. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You knew it was coming. But um bum There it was. But uh, Fish in trouble. Everybody else pretty much able to get around. So let's uh, – there we are with Sather there on the number 15 Logitech. Chevy Impala coming down. He'll receive another free truck – or truck. Here we go with the trucks again. I call way too many truck races, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing the cars, damn it, Nort. All right, sorry, I got the memo. I got the memo. And right now on board with David Washington, still down on pit road here on caution flag number four. Going to take full advantage of these really long cautions to try to get some of that damage fixed. Uh, Washington and also uh, Cole there. Cole there in the 99. We haven't spoken to him all night. They're both down on pit road taking full advantage. Uh, no more free resets left for these guys. So uh, they're going to have to fix her up and pull her off. And there they go.
So let's head back up and do we have any more viewer questions in chat? We'll take your viewer questions right now and ask one of these drivers, preferably somebody we have not spoken to, and uh, we'll ask these drivers what's going on. What number is Joe? We'll ask Joe whatever you are. Oh, there he is, the number 56. All right. Let's ask him uh, that question. Can you help me out? Is it number 32? Yeah, he just became the last two last time. But I was with us when I lot down when the first came out. Uh, sorry to break in, guys. Uh, we have viewer questions and a lot of them. Uh, this is going to be directed to the number 56, Joe Fulcrod. Fulcrod, uh, you got a copy? I'm sorry, I don't have a microphone. A hey, liar! All right, here are your questions. And uh, we, uh, the first one is from David Forst in chat, and he asks, Do you like potatoes? Yeah, I'm a fan of the spud. Fan of the spud, that's good. Uh, next question is from Richie Wench. Wrench, Richie Wrench asks, "Should I racing do away with pit ghosting?" Um, honestly, I have absolutely no idea what that means. When you pull into the pits, you can drive through the car in front of you. Uh, no, I think they should keep it because it's still a game. It would be kind of confusing for people to get in their pit stall off and that. This is a simulator, sir. It's still a game. Well. All right, well, the, those were the viewer questions. Thanks for answering them, and uh, good luck on the rest of the race. 10-4, thank you. Going green flag racing again here. Going to be lap number 41 of 65. We're starting to wind it down. And what do you guys think in chat? Should uh, iRacing get rid of pit ghosting? Give me a yes or a no. Let us know what you think here at Norgar TV. We'll take your feedback. We have one no, two yeses. The number 29 going to lead them around this time. And the pace car is off. It's time to go bumper humping again. Green flag. Number two car of the Miller Genuine Draft car uh, looks like he's serving a penalty. Backstretch, everybody minding their P's and Q's. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Very I got a horseshoe at my ass. Let's see what happens here. 27 into 16, and then the 26. It all starts with the 27 and the 16. Let's, uh, I believe. Let's take a look here. Yep. 27 comes down for what reason I don't know let's go to the chopper view chopper view being driven by somebody who has been doing huffing glue all night I don't know uh, chopper view chopper view hello want 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 there you go all right here we go in slow-mo let's see what happens here with the 27 oh 27 ch 